morning, my beautiful internet friends. See all these beautiful boxes stacked behind me? I had this great idea that I was gonna try out all of the mobility devices that I could find that were decently rated on Amazon.com. And then I ordered them, had them show up, and they've been sitting in my front room for about two weeks now because I have not wanted to go through the effort of bringing the boxes downstairs to open them and actually try this. But today is the day, guys. Today's the day. You and me, well, we're on a quest to find the best mobility device on all of Amazon. Wish me luck not falling down the stairs bringing these boxes down. This morning, we are going to be rating these items based on three factors, comfort, coolness, I've been trying to think of a, a, a C word for ease of assembly, but we're just gonna, unless I think of one along the way, we're just gonna call it ease of assembly. I'm making this video because frankly, I wish someone else would have made it for me. Uh, I'm facing some issues with my leg, shocking, I know. Every other video is basically me recounting to you either a cool thing or not cool thing that has happened. And I'll tell you what's happened this time. If you watched a video or two ago, you know that my leg has been, you know, off and on. A little nub in here, oh. I really hate when I forget to like roll my pant leg up. I just feel like this looks so awkward. My friends assure me it's hilarious, but I just feel like it's weird. A little nub in here has decided to start creating little red bumps and blisters whenever I am wearing my, my leg now, which means that I have to bring it back in to my prosthetist, which means I need to wait because it's the weekend now and I've recently discovered this issue and it's just become really painful. So I'm back to my mobility devices. You may know that I have a previous video rating all of the current mobility devices that I had, which was a wheelchair and iWalk, forearm crutches and regular crutches. The iWalk was a clear winner that time, but because my knee has been having some issues as well, I don't wanna just stay on the iWalk. And I know that some of you guys are in the same boat or might be above knee amputees or for whatever reason might not wanna be using that. So we're just gonna say that the iWalk kicks ass. I love it, I would highly recommend it. Go watch that other video. I will link it up above if you're interested in that. But for this one, we're going to be focusing on new ones that I have not tried before. These are the items that we're going to be trying out. We're going to try out crutches and also pads for them, see if they make any sense. Try a cool little pouch for crutches, see if I like that. I've actually never tried that. It may be pretty helpful considering that I've lived on crutches for just about half my life now. All right, guys, let's get to unpacking. Kind of looks like Christmas. It's clear to me and my cliff bar here. I need a system for unpacking, otherwise this is gonna be a disaster zone. Should I finish chewing before I start talking? Yes. Yes, I should. Here's what we're working with, guys. Ooh, I'm excited for some of these. Like I said, we're gonna be ranking these on Three factors, comfort while using it, coolness, the undefined, just you know it when you see it, you know it when you feel it, cool factor, and then ease of assembly. Let's just start with their super, super simple, just run of the mill, non-expensive, I've used them for way too long, crutches. These are the puppies. I'm trying to film a video here. Have they no respect? Hugo mobility crutches. I'm guessing these are gonna get a 10 out of 10 on ease of assembly, because they're kind of already assembled. Ooh, shiny. I haven't had new crutches in like four years. I bought like new pads for the bottom, but these are like, oh, they shine, guys, they shine. All we need to do for assembly is adjust to the appropriate height. Actually, sometimes these things can stick and like hurt your fingers to try to adjust. These are super easy. Make sure that's nice and tight in there. Don't be like Joe, who forgot to screw it in once and fell years ago. Fully assembled in like two minutes. I'd give this a 10 out of 10 for ease of assembly. Next up, we have our good friend's forearm crutches. However, a difference between these forearm crutches and the ones in the other mobility video, my dogs are intent on ruining the audio in this video. These have really good cups for your forearms. Apparently that makes a big difference. A bunch of people commented in my last video about that, so we're gonna give it a shot this time. These are the Medline Aluminum forearm crutches, or aluminium, which is much more fun to say. Same thing here with ease of assembly. Um, looks like we just gotta adjust a few buttons and we're good to go, which is not the case for the next two items we have. But where is it? Ah, there we go. I actually totally see what people say already. I really like. These are a lot more supportive. Ease of assembly, I'm gonna give this a solid 10 out of 10 as well. Now we move on to an item I am dying to try out. I was told about it at the first Amputee Coalition event I ever went to up in Denver. Mobile eggs. 
Maybe she'll be quiet now, it's very doubtful. Moby legs. Apparently they're supposed to be a little bit more ergonomically friendly, better for your everything. They look confusing in theory. Maybe that's just because I've got a lot of blonde in my roots. So check that out, guys. It's supposed to be way more friendly for like movement along the ground with that shape. And then this is actually kind of like mesh and springy. Man, I am fascinated to try these out. Okay, well, we're gonna deduct one point for ease of assembly, because these are the ones that like hurt your fingers. Not a big deal, it means it's nice and secure. I'm not gonna lie, I really hate these. Not the crutches, just these in particular. This is also much harder to do without two feet, because usually I would just like grab on with my feet and pull, but that's not an option, guys. I'm just gonna nub in it a little bit. Assembled and good to go. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna give these a seven out of six and a half out of ten for ease of assembly. I really hate when they like pinch your fingers and break your fingernails to make it work. I am but a small woman, but um, yeah, if you're dealing with any kind of mobility issue, strength can be a problem too, and uh, it frustrates me when strength is an issue to get these things assembled, but they look really cool, so I feel like the cool factor might even out the, the ease of assembly point deduction. All right, the last ones we have. These are a really interesting idea. I've done a little bit of traveling this year. Having foldable crutches would be really easy for things like going on planes, but only if, only if it was very, very simple to just like fold and go. Packaging is tight. I'm gonna go ahead and deduct one point already. What am I missing? I just feel like the crutches won't work very well this way. Rotate and pull down. Oh, okay. Sophie helped me figure it out. Nope, that's definitely not it. Deducting points by the minute. So you've gotta open it up, pull this out, pop that into place. Okay, all right, I'll give them that. That's not too bad. Okay, so this is a weird thing. It's like blocked by the string that holds the thing together. I'm like trying to push the screw out and it won't go. More points deducted. But actually, how am I supposed to fix that? See, do you see the tiny little screw trying to come out in there? But then it's blocked. Cause there's string like tying all of this together inside to keep that tension. But if the string blocks adjustments from being made, I don't see where it's super effective. All right, we got it. I'm not that hard to impress, but I'm very not impressed right now. Success guys. All right, so we have the four sets of crutches actually assembled, adjusted, ready to try out. After that, I'm gonna try out these guys. All the cool little pads and possible adjustments, but first, let's see how the actual devices themselves measure up. First up, we have our number one contestant, the Hugo, fairly standardized underarm crutches. I'm gonna point out a possible flaw right now. These seem real pointy and uncomfortable. Let's try it out though. Gonna maneuver around the dog bed, you know, See how it is uh, easy to move around things. They're light, easy to use. These are real pointy and small, definitely uncomfortable. There are some pads up here that come with crutches that feel okay, honestly. These are not one of them. I would definitely recommend some kind of additional pad if you went with these kind of crutches. However, overall, I'd say they're pretty good. Ease of assembly was a high score. Cool factor was a solid five out of 10, which isn't looking so hot, but comfort, I'd give a 6.5 maybe. However, we will be revisiting these with the pad modifications and the bags that you can strap onto these. Forearm crutches, commonly used throughout the world, and yet this chick has never been able to act actually master the movement. I think part of that comes down to practice. And so far, even after just kind of experimenting with these to get the adjustment right, I feel like they're a lot more stable than other ones I've tried, so let's give them a shot. I like how they hold my arms up here. That feels nice. Am I just forearm crutch deficient? I feel so unstable and unsafe. Generally speaking, I'm a, a pretty strong, pretty stable person on mobility devices, and so I honestly feel like it might be a bit of a me problem that I cannot figure out forearm crutches, but I do not feel safe using them. So let, let's try a couple things before I give my official recommendation on these. You guys just saw my form, right? I would love to hear if I'm doing something wrong, but I cannot endorse these. Form crotches are your thing. 
crotches. If forearm crotches are your thing, I would absolutely say that these these feel solid. I mean, like the pieces of equipment, that the materials that they use feel good, but no, I can't do it. Um, cool factor, I'll give it a solid seven out of 10. Comfort is like a two for me, but that's just me. These are the ones that I'm super excited to try out. I feel like it might take a little bit of adjustment to figure out if I like them or not, but these came very highly recommended. I've tried just normal below, you know, under underarm crutches for so long that these just seem neat, right? And they've got some pretty decent reviews on Amazon. Let's try out the MOBA legs. Something to keep in mind, there is a right side and a left side. Okay, so first of all, some adjustment for sure. Which makes me sad, because these ones hurt my fingers. Ron hurt my fingies. Please let me know if you get that reference. Ow! <laughs> Ooh. What just happened? You can like literally move the handles away from the pads and back. All right. You know what, guys? My initial reaction is these are weird and I don't love them, but I could see some really positive aspects to kind of more of the movement with this. You're not so restricted in one place. And even though it's slightly more unstable, it's still controlled enough that I don't feel like I'm gonna get hurt on them. I think I'm gonna experiment with these a little bit more. These might be the ones that I keep. Moby Legs, you definitely get a nine out of 10 on Cool Factor. I'm gonna give you a seven out of 10 on Comfort. First thing that I noticed while picking up these foldable crutches is that they're heavy. And they're heavier than some of the other ones Ones I've just been holding and you would think that travel crutches should be lighter. Also, I didn't actually adjust the other side. We're just gonna try it without and see what happens. I really want to like these and I see where they have their purpose. I see where they have their place. They're heavy, they kind of feel bulky. They're not particularly comfortable. I will give them seven out of 10 on the cool factor, but even though I didn't fully adjust them for me because it was a little too difficult to do and time consuming, I just didn't have the motivation to do so. I'd give like a four out of 10 on comfort and comfort's pretty important when it comes to crutches. Maybe they're a little bit more heavy duty because they assume that if you're folding crutches and bringing them places, you're gonna be doing more traveling and so they should be heavier duty. But even then, I think there are better options out there like an eye walk if you're gonna be doing that. Or maybe even like the Moby legs, which seemed like a pretty cool option. And they also feel pretty heavy duty without feeling so heavy and unsteady. I'm gonna just go ahead and say I do not recommend these at all. Now on to some of the fun stuff. Uh, for many years, I didn't use pads or anything like that with just normal crutches. I didn't think I really needed them. I lived with perpetual rashes underneath my armpits. And then about a year and a half ago, I was like, this is dumb. And so I tried like $20 pads from Amazon on and oh my gosh, they made a difference. You see them on my normal crutches. I have purple pads on them. And so I went ahead and ordered some of those. I also ordered sheepskin version. And then I ordered two underarm crutch bags, which I have never used before. I'm kind of curious if it would um, hinder how easy it is to move or if it'd be really helpful. So let's give these a shot. I really like this brand. This is what I've used for every pair of crutch pads that I've had ever since I started using them. They're great. So this is their version of a bag. Okay, this seems pretty simple to put on. I will say that it seems like my crutches are too small for this bag, but maybe not. Ta-da! Okay, actually I think this is pretty cool. So we got two pockets on these guys. Got like the main one in there and then kind of a front pocket. Sorry for all the dog hair you're seeing here. It's impossible to escape. I like that. Let's try the other one on the other side. This one's like heavy duty. Ooh, this seems like a hiking pack. Definitely feels heavier, not in a bad way, like a little bit, um, like it's gonna stick to it a little bit better. That looks cool. I really like that. So this one, you also have one main area here, a cell phone, maybe pocket up front, and then also zippered pouch, which I'm a big fan of. I like the Pack Maxi bag a little bit better. Let's try walking on it though. Okay, out of the two bags though, Crutchy's one you barely feel is there. This guy here is pretty bulky. I definitely feel it underneath my arm. If I wasn't wearing sleeves, I feel like it'd be really rubbing against my skin on my arm. Out of the two, if it was me, I would definitely go with the crutchies one just because it's less cool 
but I feel like it's way more effective and it's not gonna get in your way nearly as much. Um, I like being able to actually like move on crutches. Like if you were only going from your car to a building and that was it and you just wanted to carry this instead of a purse, I'd go with this. But if you had to do any other kind of walking, I just feel like it'd really get in the way. But both are pretty cool options, I like them. So as we try out the pads, I am gonna leave this bag on because I feel like it's not gonna be in the way and it gives a good representation of if you were gonna have a bag, how would it work with pads? So these guys are actually pretty simple to get on. There's just Velcro in there. You can't eat it. You can't eat it. I'm sorry. What are you trying to do here? What What is this puppy infiltration? I don't. Ah! All right, so we got that Velcro on. I will say that I, I don't like how bulky this whole section is with a bag. Again, I know some people love that, just personal preference. So these crutches pads are actually the ones I have on my actual crutches right now. I absolutely love them. They last for like six months at a minimum. I would highly recommend these, but I'm interested to try the sheepskin ones as well. Bingo. So these are way heavier. You can already see like in my hand, they're a lot thicker, a lot bigger. Let's try it. All right, again, I'm not a super weak person. I can't get these on the crutches. It's like they won't stretch enough and I'm certain that my husband could do it for me. But again, if we're talking about people who are dealing with some kind of mobility issue or recovering from surgery or facing a health challenge like I have been, you don't want something that is gonna make you more frustrated to try to get on, but you want something that's gonna make your day easier. So if you were gonna go with something like this, I would recommend having someone strong about I honestly can't get this on and I don't want to break it. I will say it's nice and squishy. It feels nice. I don't like when things that are designed to make your life easier make them a little bit harder. I realize that this is a very small thing in the grand scheme of things, but again, if you're dealing with mobility issues in your life, things that are very difficult to put together or get on are a problem. No go little sheepskin pads. I had such high hopes for you. We are gonna try these guys though. Simple, nice, easy, I like that. So after using both of these hand pads, I would still give Crutchies my vote of confidence. This is softer all around. The pad itself is even on all sides where this sort of feel like, it almost has like lumps and bumps in it, which I don't love. It kind of hurts my hand a little bit. This morning, we reviewed the Hugo underarm crutches, the aluminum forearm crutches, the Moby legs crutches, and also the foldable easy to travel with crutches. Out of the four of those, the Hugo crutches were great. They worked fine. I'd recommend pads with them. The forearm crutches are just really not my cup of tea. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm certain it's probably me. The material seemed pretty good. I just, I, I just can't use them. They're just not for me. They feel very unstable. The Moby legs were really cool. I think I need more practice on them. It's kind of interesting to me how the parts move. Um, something to get used to, but it seems like it could be a pretty good ergonomical choice. And the travel crutches, the foldable crutches are just a solid thumbs down. Out of the pads and the bags that we tried, crutches wins by far. The other options were pretty cool like that other bag looks awesome. It just didn't feel very effective for actually moving around with. And the sheepskin I couldn't even get on without hurting myself or getting very frustrated. So Crutchies gets my vote of approval. What do you guys think? What have you tried? Also, of course, every item that I've mentioned or that I've talked about will be linked in the description down below. I didn't talk about it in this video, but the iWalk, which is a walking crutch, has been amazingly helpful to me. I'll also link that down below. The only issue is, you know, if you're having trouble with your knee, it might not be the best choice for you. Now that I've tried all these out, I'm gonna have to pack up the ones that I didn't like and send them back, which will be a whole other project for this morning. But thank you for sitting with me. I would love to hear your thoughts about what I tried. Also, I'm certain that every time I walked away, my entire back and butt and legs were covered in dog hair. So if you need a comment about that, I understand. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for making these videos possible. Sincerely, I appreciate you. Thank you for spending a few days out of your morning, your afternoon, your evening, hanging out here with me. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have you heard from the sky?